Hi ladies and gents, Ryan back with more Mars news and artifacts. Part 2 of structures and debris east of a Sarkis Dorsum on Mars, including inside lander news updates. We're continuing to look at this photograph called Knob with Apron and Smaller Knobs Connected by Lineations. And uh, the photograph was acquired on the 1st of March 2012 at 25 centimeters per pixel resolution. And I'll be showing you the images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And uh, there's a look at a crop from the low res JPEG. And we're looking at the anomalies scattered throughout this terrain. really strange geology in the area as well located 36.58 degrees north 167.46 degrees east very close to Tyndall the circular depression or crater in a relatively smooth flat terrain so the next anomaly we're looking at is this strange structure in the center of the screen about 10 by 15 meters and uh, it looks like some more blocks and layered material as a rectangular block underneath this strange uh, piece of material it looks almost like a bent metal plate and it's on top of the uh, larger block of the air and then on the side we got what looks like a little V part a little spherical ball or dome like feature there and uh, also partially buried and covered in sand so is this some type of makeshift shelter or a combination of megalithic blocks and ruins and uh, some type of technology and wreckage so looking here at uh, this strange object over there it's about 8 meters long by about 5 meters wide and it looks like twisted metal plate with two rounded sides here and in the center this uh, narrow rectangular piece sticking off the side and uh, it appears as if this might be slightly rounded as well so is that some, some type of wreckage perhaps? Yeah, we're looking at another one of these other metallic plates or megalithic slabs with straight edges and right angles and this one's about uh, 12 meters long by about 6 meters wide and uh, you can see straight edges running through there and then uh, either a hole over here in the center or a flattened dome like feature or knob casting that shadow here we got some more strange debris um, and uh, this is rather odd we've got two parts over here and to the left what looks like um, some type of structure with two narrow slits cut into it and then on the side here yeah, it looks like megalithic blocks so let's zoom in on uh, this one here and uh, we can see running through the center of this one side two equally sized slits or openings which is really artificial looking and uh, showing some intelligent design there and then on the side yeah what would look like megalithic blocks check out this um, this could even be a slab or metal plate lying on top of the smaller rectangular part over here and it looks as if there's a sort of a triangular carving on the side of this block or 
object. So could this be a really strange object? And then here we're looking at more twisted anomalies. This is about uh, 10 by 5 meters. We've got a perfectly rounded arc to it over here. Nicely defined edge comes down. And uh, then I don't know if this piece on top is part of the larger piece and it's bent over. Or if this is uh, another layer lying on top of this. But it does look as if it might be the same piece. As I say, this could be bent over somewhat. Yeah, we're looking at uh, another one of these shield-looking objects. This is about, uh, let's see, 15 to 16 meters long, or about 10 meters wide. It's straight edges of here. A right angle there. We've got a perpendicular slot. Looks like a slot cut into this one side. And uh, in the center, this little pyramid knob or feature. And then uh, it looks like a circular hole cut into the side as well. And then here it looks like we have a sort of an opening as well, maybe some type of venting. Also it looks as if this object is partially raised off the Martian surface. Now we're looking at uh, these two megalithic blocks located to the top of this image. And they're about uh, 10 meters long by about 4 meters wide. Really bright, shiny material. You can see two blocks next to one another. Straight edges and right angles in that. Now we're looking at uh, another block about four by six meters and then next to it another one of these sort of disc shaped objects with a dome feature in the center. I check out the smooth flat surfaces on this block with 90 degree angles there. So yeah, we're looking at uh, this object, and I do apologize, uh, this zoom is directly over it, so let's quickly see, this is about 8 by 8 meters, and uh, it's another one of these polygon or hexagon shaped objects, so the V over here on the one side, in the center we've got one dark spot, and two smaller spots on either side so there's some geometry and symmetry in that now we got another one of these objects which I've discovered in many other locations on Mars so this is about 10 by 10 meters got two pieces got a straight line running through there and then um, a smaller part sticking out of the opening potentially so let's have a look at some similar ones this is from a video called special edition similar craft and tech found on Mars and uh, you can use these uh, URLs to get to these specific JP2s so check out the similarity to this one we've just checked to the other three we've got two parts in uh, each of these got a line running through between the two and then a uh, smaller part 
sticking out over the other object to the right in each case. That looks like a very common design feature on Mars. I get another one of these really bright square objects, about six by six meters, straight edges and right angle there. There's another one of these uh, sort of hexagon shaped objects with a little dome or knob in the center. We can see one, two, three sides over here. Check that out right in the center of the object again. Now we're looking at another weird structure measuring about 10 by 10 meters and uh, got straight sides here, 90 degree angles in a rounded part in the center connected to this square part of here to the right and it seems as if uh, these two objects are underneath this uh, rounded part potentially sticking out from uh, what could be an opening of here to the bottom and then uh, some rather strange design features in either corner we've got these two sort of equally sized and spaced dark spots and then a longer narrower one here in this corner now that definitely doesn't look like a typical boulder or rock. Yeah, another one of these objects, sort of diamond shaped. This one's about uh, 12 meters long, by about 6 meters wide. There in the center we've got what looks like a circular hole. And over here, some 90 degree angles. Check that out. Yeah, okay, we're looking at uh, these two objects. This bottom one is about uh, 12 meters wide. So that gives you an idea how big these others are. So this is about 8 meters long. And yeah, we've got what looks like either two blocks next to one another or a slab with a slit or groove cutting to the one side there partially covered in sand and dust and then uh, a rather strange object over here a rounded piece and then uh, to the one side here partially raised above this rounded part we've got this little rectangular part yeah, we've got um, a narrow groove and uh, to the side, yeah, what looks like a little shield, dome-like object. Is this some type of wreckage perhaps? Yeah, we've got um, a rectangular part cut into the one side as well straight edges and right angle there there's some type of uh, entrance way and uh, yeah we've got arrangement of blocks again potentially some monoliths and uh, these are about 4 by 4 by 3 meters you look at the shadows, you can see these three objects are definitely standing up into pointing into the Martian atmosphere and they arranged in that row. Now rather odd as well. Now we're looking at uh, another strange object and down here We'll check out that close-up as well. 
this is about eight by eight meters and um, I'm not sure what to make of this it does look rather strange with these two dark spots and over there what looks like an opening and this area around it's been uh, cleared away and then down here we've got uh, a narrow rectangular piece again which is about 15 meters long by about 5 meters wide and um, it's got some separation in it if you look at this it looks like a line might be running through there and then um, it's definitely raised above the surface with this part underneath the straight edge running through here very similar to um, another one I found in part one of this series check that out another nice straight edge um, with another plate underneath and this one sticking out between the two very similar types of anomalies these in my opinion let me know uh, do you guys and girls make of this this be some type of um, building that's collapsed multi-story building that's collapsed in on itself Yeah, we're looking at uh, these two smaller objects about three by three four by four meters also looks like uh, it's in the shape of a shield some symmetry in that and in the center a raised area causing that shadow there and then uh, over here nice rounded corner, a straight edge, some strange features in the center over there. Now we're looking at these anomalies. Now we've got uh, a semicircle, a triangle and a rectangle. But uh, this one's about 10 by 5 meters straight edge there a bit of a rounded corner in the center we've got a circular hole and we've got a triangular part about 10 by 10 by 10 meters relatively smooth flat surface and yeah semi-circular object with a dome knob or feature there and what looks like three smaller dark spots in a row going off that way another makeshift habitat potentially this is about uh, 15 meters long if you include that row of three blocks there then it's about uh, 20 meters long by about 15 meters wide so let's zoom in on that you've got a row of uh, look like three blocks and then uh, to this side um, these look as if they're in a rounded circular pattern and then this looks like some type of metal wreckage it's been ripped and bent check out the, uh, the opening here and over here so is this maybe a combination of um, megalithic type ruins combined with this uh, torn bent metal or what is this I'm not sure what to make of this part especially here another megalithic block measuring about 10 by 5 meters and right there we've got uh, what looks like a 
circular hole check out this here this piece in the center it's got this triangle that measures about two by one and a half by one and a half meters some geometry and symmetry in this dark triangle and in the center there seems to be a little sphere that some more objects lying on top of one another here this looks like a block you can see two sides straight edges and then this um, another metal plate maybe it's been bent and then there in the center a large circular dark spot partially filled with dust or sand it seems possibly uh, covering a underground entranceway or is that maybe just wreckage? Another one of these uh, megalithic blocks with a long narrow rectangular part right there in the center. Check it out. metal plate or megalithic slab again who knows but 8 by 8 meters very bright smooth surface straight edges and a right angle right there mostly also partially raised off the surface this area to this side being cleared away another entranceway maybe and then this strange structure or arrangement of I don't know what these are like a combination of uh, blocks and metal so let's check this is about 20 by 25 meters in the center here we've got this rounded part yeah we've got two triangular features sticking over the edge up here towards the inside and then at the bottom here we've got two that look like um, plates metal plates or two bases and then uh, this all looks as if it's been arranged around this central part now let's zoom out have a look at that again maybe it's uh, natural rocks or boulders but uh, these two triangular parts just don't look that natural and then this is sort of around this middle part and then a triangular object there in the center this is about 10 meters across a smooth bright surface we get the jagged edge over here but you've got three parts in a triangular pattern on top of this this looks like a little V maybe even a donut shape that there looks like a C object in a C shape ah, three smaller objects arranged symmetrically on this larger triangular part another one of these sort of um, disc like objects next to a rectangular part we'll have a look at some similar ones and in the center 
something that's causing that shadow. So let's have a look at some others. There's another object similar to this one with a dark spot in the center. That what looks like a sleeve or something here. There's another one there. So these always seem to come in pairs. And then um, it's tightly covered in sand and dust. You basically just see the edges. This is about 10 by 8 meters. Straight sides. And then this dark dome feature or knob. Next to two other rectangular pieces. Here we've got 90 degree angles. Check that out. And this, uh, also I'm not sure what to make of these. One, two, three sides to this one. And then um, a raised area in the center making that shadow. And these are, these two objects are sort of parallel to one another. So it looks weird. So check this out, another makeshift shelter perhaps with a plate or slab across the top. Here we've got a little square object, straight edges, right angle there. And then uh, it looks as if this could be like an arch with an opening over here. Now check that out. This uh, square object just makes this all look rather strange. And then we're looking at this smaller square object, which is about 4 by 4 meters. And uh, there in the center, we've got a hole. And on either side, partially raised lines running through there. So, yeah, again, is this... Um, wreckage perhaps some type of um, metallic objects a really smooth surface so I'm not sure and there we're looking at uh, this smaller block six by three meters and uh, some knobs in the center arranged in a circular pattern this larger one casting that shadow is right in the center two straight sides here right angle and then uh, a weird design on this side so it's straight there and there, and on this side it's got these rounded parts. Also not very typical of natural boulders or rocks. So we're going to be looking at uh, an article published 13 December 2018. This is a bit of um, Inside Lander News, and I'll include the link to this page below. Mars InSight lander seen in first images from space. So we've got the lander, got the parachute and back shell as well as the heat shield. It's in this area in the Elysium Planitia. There's a, a zoom. They've got the lander there landed nicely between all these craters and circular depressions and there's the heat shield 
parachute and back shell all within about a thousand feet of one another so this is the high-rise page I'll include the link to this as well insight lander on Mars showing the lander parachute and back shell as well as heat shield also published on the 13th of December 2018 so here's the image of the InSight lander and NASA claims the, uh, the bright bluish green light is caused by color saturation so that's a camera artifact it's not the true color of the lander they say so this is about six meters across you can see this is a zoom I also played with the contrast and brightness a bit there are the two circular solar panels the shadows being cast there and there's the hardware of the lander it's a pity they didn't take a higher resolution photograph because we look at uh, artifacts that are 6 by 6 meters and um, they're very very well defined so I don't know why these images of the landers and rovers are always so messy and out of focus and oversaturated so here's the parachute with the back shell also there's no reason why that should be so overexposed and out of focus he has the heat shield and again um, we've looked at very bright artifacts and anomalies we don't get this sort of saturation and I don't know just doesn't look hopefully they release uh, higher resolution images taken at a different time in the Martian day so that we don't get this bright reflection so there it is close up with that uh, being said reached the end of the video thank you for watching I'll be back soon with more Mars anomalies and artifacts take care bye bye for now